We're in the bathroom. Still in the same bathroom we've been working on. If you look down here, we actually got the floor done. Now we're up on the wall. We have a sheetrock wall, which absolutely does not match with what is going on with the true logs, the floor. And now we're gonna do a simulated log on the side of the wall. We were going to put a gap here like we did last time, a cheek between it, but we figured this bathroom would look a little different. What we do when we get down here, we're offsetting the boards back and forth. This one we actually didn't get an offset on. Yeah, I think we got a half inch offset on that one. But hey, you know what? Let's move on. It's just a bathroom. There's gonna be a vanity here that covers this. But what I wanted to show you is how we cut around these logs, as you can see. We use this tool right here. This thing is absolutely fantastic for working on a log cabin. You can take and lock it in place. I've preset this one to the logs. You take the yellow part of this and you line it up exactly with the bottom of your paneling and you just slide it into the log and it'll preset itself. It'll push itself out into this pattern. Once you get that pattern, you can take, remove this, you want a measurement from the edge of this all the way to the tip of your log. That way you can get your measurement from this point right here to this point right here. And when you mark your next panel, you put the mark there, you line this up, you square this with the panel, make your cut and that next piece falls right into place. The pieces up here just a little bit you have to come in with a little bit of a sander, you sand it back just enough to where you can just slide it in and you get a nice tight curve right here. We come back in with this spot right here. We do the chinking like you guys have seen before. This will be all chink. So it'll all blend in when it's all done. So I'm going to bring you over to the spot where I set this board up and cut it. And then we'll come back and we'll place this one. Let's show you exactly how we use this tool to get a perfect cut on a log. We grab a piece of cardboard, we pre-cut our cardboard out. And the reason why we pre-cut our cardboard out so that when we go over it and we slide it up against the log, if there's any spots that are too high, we can come back in and cut it and preset this cut before we even get on our board. We come in with our measurement, our dots right here that our length is, we slide this into place we square this off with the board like I showed you over there, draw our line, and we cut out our board. What we do so that we don't scratch this, we put tape on this side of the cut and tape on this side of the cut so we can run our jigsaw across it and not mar up the wood. So let's go back over there and I'll show you after this is cut and show you how nice that actually falls into place. So we're back in the corner. We've taken this and used our method that I showed earlier to cut this out, got our length. I used the jigsaw to cut this and I put tape over the top of it. And you want to do that because the jigsaw, if you use that, will actually mess up this surface. So come on in here close and we will see how this actually fits in there. and slide your groove up in there. Tap it in place just like a floor. Get a nice tight corner. Come in here nice and close right here and you'll see how good of a cut you have right here. There's maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So if you guys do the same thing, if you decide to do this in your cabin and you need to get around logs, that little tool that I use, a little yellow tool, saves you so much hassle because a lot of the times you end up scrapping two or three of these trying to do this the old school way. So I appreciate you coming along with us on this one. Thank you for tuning in to Land to Cabin. And I would appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, and comment below. We would love to hear how your projects are coming along and what you think of ours. Now we can show you after we got all done with the wall. Got the floor all finished. Wall is all done. 
Got the vanity back in. Down here you can see that the little cuts that we did with our templates turned out really well. 